Some of the restaurants on tonight's report card might be familiar. One place has more than 20 violations. 13 ABC's Tony Geftis explains what happened and how they fixed it in tonight's restaurant report card. Have you ever stored leftover food inside containers you already have? You're not supposed to do that at a restaurant. It's a health code violation. Here are some other violations spotted by health inspectors. Ping on inside the plaza across from the Thurgood Marshall building on Manhattan had 10 violations during its last standard inspection. Seven of those health inspectors consider critical. Soy sauce buckets being used to store chicken, a damp cloth stored on work surfaces, and egg wash stored at room temperature. When we tried to call Ping on, no one picked up the phone, but a sign in the window showed we will be closed for an equipment upgrade and will reopen. Next up, Pizza Popolis near Fifth Third Field downtown. Health inspectors noted 15 violations here, including five repeats. Build up inside both main floor ice machines, cardboard being used as shelving in the walk-in cooler, and lasagna with an expired date. 13 ABC spoke to the owner of Pizza Popolis, who said everything's been corrected. They were minor violations, and if anything, health inspections make us more aware of those and make us a more efficient and cleanly restaurant. Things are thawing properly, they're sitting out. The Toledo Lucas County Health Department wants to make sure everyone in the food business learns from mistakes and keeps your food safe. That's why they require someone from all 3,500 licensed food establishments to complete a level one certification food safety class. Those three hour classes are held twice a month inside of the health department and they cost 30 bucks. You only have to take the course once, but health inspectors say someone has to take it. We can't be there 24 seven. So when we come in, we do our inspection and we leave. What we hope is that they gain some knowledge of what is the right thing to do with, you know, with food. Finally, Arturo's Fritz and Alfredo's on Summit tops the list. It had the highest number of violations during the latest two week period, 22 in all. 11 of those inspectors consider critical. Bare hand contact with shredded lettuce, a half cigarette or cigar with a mouthpiece on a shelf on the cook line, and an uncovered employee beverage on a work table in the kitchen. The owner of Arturo's Fritz and Alfredo's tells 13 ABC, everything that she wrote us up for, I corrected. We've got dates on everything, tumblers for employees, and a can for rags. We went down the list and took care of everything. Now to the restaurants with zero violations. Giorgio's Cafe International next to the Valentine Theater has something to sing about. Zero violations. Everything's coming up clean for PJ's Deli in the Gardner Building downtown. It's violation free. And at Downtown Latte on South St. Clair, the co-owner says a little caffeine keeps them cleaning. Well, we always stay on top of it. Uh, we're constantly cleaning throughout the day. Um, there's never a moment where we're, uh, we're sitting idle. Um, we just clean as we go. That's our motto here. What's a motto with you? Nothing. At least that's what inspectors say. For the Restaurant Report Card, Tony Geftis, 13 ABC Action News. And some other restaurants with a clean bill of health during their most recent inspections. TJ's Courthouse Cafe on Adams, City Hall Grill and Drinks on Reynolds, and Win Ye Rose on Broadway. Also, Cam Wa Restaurant in Waterville, Neapolis Pizza Shop on Main Street in Neapolis, and Pick Rose on Franklin Avenue in Toledo, all were violation free.